prehistoric profiling. Australia, home to the world's most unique mammals, the marsupials. Most terrifying is the Pleistocene's marsupial lion. These animals had a mouth of no more than eight teeth, all of which were large enough to snap the bone and crush the windpipe. Thylacleo carnifex, the murderous pouched lion, is pretty much a giant wombat who is as large as a snow leopard or jaguar. The only creature brave enough to take on the Thylacleo is Megalania, the Australian dragon. Thylac Leo may be the most threatening marsupial, but he is not the top of the food chain. The Aborigine are on the hunt. A snap decision is the last he ever makes. Living in the shadow of the marsupial lion was one of the most elusive and the most adaptable of marsupial carnivores. Thylacines which are essentially kangaroos that look like dogs. During the late Miocene, their largest, Thylacinus potens, the powerful thylacine, was supreme.
Thylacines preyed on wallabies, kangaroos, and even the vicious Tasmanian devils, who they would tire out before attacking. Despite being solitary by nature, they also stayed in family groups to watch over their young. No doubt they had a bright future ahead of them. Four million years ago came the most famous of their kind, Thylacinus cyanephilus, the dog-headed pouched one. This thylacine is on the prowl, and these wallabies don't know it yet. Being nocturnal, this is more of a midnight snack for him, or rather, midday. These stripes have the same function as they do in tigers, to help him blend in. And the chase begins! The unfortunate wallaby is now exhausted. Now he won't have to rest on an empty stomach. Thylacines were first recorded when the Europeans arrived in the 1800s. Possessing the stripes of a tiger as well as the shape of a wolf, this led to be their downfall through fear. This individual has been unable to find a mate, and now she's sick. She cannot find a mate because most of them within her area have likely been exterminated by the local farmers. There is not hope for her or her kind. The farmer wakes up in the morning to have breakfast. But then he hears something.
Desperation has brought the last Tasmanian tiger to her death. Millions of years of evolution, only to be brought down just because of one species' fear. Farewell, Thylacine. The endangered quolls and Tasmanian devils are the thylacine's closest living relatives. Trapped in time And my eyes get blurred 
last goodbye was not forever. Tigers 